my god. Completely like 90 degrees. Oh, got her, got her. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's huge. Oh my god, Adam. Oh. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Mav. We do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. Today, I find myself in the middle of Canada on a, a great body of water for muskies. Um, we're on Lake of the Woods. So, I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of time talking here. Um, honestly, I just got the boat in the water and we got everything unloaded and we hightailed it out to one of my favorite spots. So, I don't wanna blab, I wanna fish. A storm's coming in um, and I guess that's all you guys really need to know. Hopefully we can catch a fish at this spot. I've seen big fish here in the past, but it's musky fishing after all, so we'll see. You ever caught a fish on top water? It's fun. Oh shit, is that rock? That just scared the f out of me. Yeah. Oh, I got a crayfish. Look at that. First catch of the day, ladies and gentlemen. I caught myself a rusty crayfish. Well, catch and cook? I got him good. You know, in Lake of the Woods, there's a lot of these things. I might have to, I might have to do something about it. So another thing in musky fishing is that you want to always check your hooks after rubbing up against rocks. I guess that's really any type of fishing, but I definitely dulled my hooks up a little bit. Just gonna give them a nice little sharpen here. I think there was one there. I couldn't quite tell, but I think that was a fish. Deep old girl. Huh. Well, she didn't want to eat. <laughs> that was a fish, it was pretty close on it. I couldn't tell, I thought I just saw fins. I didn't really like see a body, I just thought I saw something deeper but underneath it. Yeah, if that was a fish, it was giant. <laughs> I mean, I can barely see my bucktail when it's right here. Just got to keep moving. Well, caught a crayfish and uh, maybe saw musky. Not a bad first spot. All right, well, Adam just had the first definite follow of the day on a little small square bill. I'm still searching for mine, but to be honest, if I have a follow on this bucktail, I think I'm probably gonna catch it. Unless it's falling in like super low and slow, but I shouldn't say I'm gonna catch it. I should say I'm gonna have a shot at catching it. Another thing with musky fishing guys is that when the water visibility is this low, you wanna keep doing your figure eight. You wanna extend it a little bit. Um, usually I'm doing like quick turns by the boat so I can get another cast out there, but right now I can't see super well in the water. I am wearing polarized sunglasses, but those only get you so far in the clouds, so. I gotta keep doing circles until I'm absolutely sure that there's not a fish there. Cause they can come out of nowhere. You ever see that movie? Mid, mid 90s? No, I didn't. What? Sunburn! That's a good movie. You'd love that movie. Yeah. Is that a fish? Did I just see a fish? I don't know. Going crazy. Going psycho. Go crazy. Where are you at? No? Oh yeah, that was a fish! 
Yep, that was a fish. Oh, oh my. That was nuts. You got that net? Well, lost the first one on the trip. Was that my fault? No, you want to know what it was? What was it? I had PTSD from the last fish. I was trying to horse him too hard. Yeah, it's so weird too. Yeah, that wasn't a very big fish, but that was cool. We got 41. Oh my god, that gets my heart going every time though. He came out of nowhere. All right, guys. Well, um, what just happened right there? Wait, hang on. All right, guys. Well, what just happened right there was uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I was just explaining how I need to extend my figure eights because I'm not sure like if I'm seeing fish or not, and that my visibility is low. And I wasn't sure if I saw something coming in or not. I did a couple turns and I didn't see anything. I was almost ready to pull my bait out of the water, and that thing just came out on one of my long turns and just came out of the, basically from under the boat and smoked it. So I'll play that clip again right now in slow motion so you guys can just see how it ate, but it just inhaled like the bucktail from the weirdest angle. So <sighs> I'm, I mean, I'm upset that I lost that fish, but you can't be upset when you have a fish eat at the boat like that. So we didn't have the net ready. Um, I kind of have PTSD from the last muskie I lost. If you guys didn't see that, there's a video in my channel if you're interested, but I got to find the happy medium between finding it too hard, letting it fight by itself, you know. Um, rookie mistakes but we're in Canada that's, that's that's a good sign we've been fishing for like 30 minutes Adam and I have been fishing for like 30 minutes and uh we've already had two follows and then one of those follows was an eater so hey get that net What's quicker up? next time Hi, dude. <laughs> <That's>... my bad <laughs> I'm messing with I was, you dude. It was I'm, no dude it's not your follow at all <laughs> For those of you that can't tell, that's rain, right in this area, and that's where we need to go. Forgot my rain suit, back at the cabin, so did Adam, and probably about three miles away from it, which isn't horribly far, but it's gonna kinda, I'm a little upset right now. I lost a fish, and now we're gonna have to drive back in the rain. All right, well, we'll see if we can fish one more spot. If not, um, I guess we'll see on the other side. I don't know, hopefully. You couldn't tell it's definitely raining. Morning guys, it's about 6.46 and uh, we're gonna catch a muskie today, I got a feeling. We're gonna make a little bit of a far run. Generally you don't really have to make a run, but there's so many people at camp right now that I think it might might help out a little bit to get out of the out of the crowd. So yeah. Let's get at our spot. Let's get the line wet. This is the one dude. Alright, we're just gonna fish a bunch of spots, we're gonna fish them fast, I don't even care. Thank you. 
yan. You ready with that nut? Come up here. Right, ready? Yep. All right, I'm gonna get his head up. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes! Yes! Textbook, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a plug. Oh. Give me a hug. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude! That was cool. That was really cool. That was really sweet. Heck yeah, buddy. <laughs> Sorry for freaking out there. No, that's okay. Oh. He's off. Just like that. It might shut up. Can you take these? No. Good. Yeah, we can. He's sitting belly up right now, so I'm all worried, but we'll see you in a second. Oh my god, he's fucked. And that right there is what a muskie will do to a bucktail. Look at it, it's bent completely like 90 degrees. Nuts. All right guys, well there it is, the first fish in Lake of the Woods. Um, Adam and I just stopped in to go grab some dinner and I actually was adding up a video. Then a spot that I had a waypoint from a couple years ago that I've seen fish at, but I haven't caught one yet. So it's a good feeling when you can do that and you can find a new spot and get a fish. Um, we're gonna go to a familiar spot right now because we might have a bite window. So let's, uh, let's get over to that spot and give it a try. Sweet dude, thank you. Woo! Ew! Here's where I got destroyed yesterday. That was big push. Dull man. Right here. Oh, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. Big fish, big fish. Come back. That was a good one. I don't know if she was 50, but it was close. It was a stock you want again. Yeah. She was on it, like white on rice. Oh, buddy. I can't believe that thing didn't eat. 
It was on it just as hot as the last one too. Just you should get a couple casts at this thing. Cause it's hot. She's run, she wants to eat. Give her hell. I'd rip it. Oh, got her, got her. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's huge. Oh my God, Adam. Oh my God. Motor. Motor. Get the motor up. Nope, never mind. We're good. Okay. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. I need you. I need you. I need you. I'm sorry. All right, ready? Yep. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Oh. Yes! Buddy, get the net up. Get the net up. Get the net up. Get the net up. Oh, she's off. Oh, oh. Buddy. <laughs> Dude! Are you joking? <laughs> I'm so, I'm so sorry for freaking out, but no, okay. oh my god, dude! Oh, yes, yes. Oh. I don't think she's 50, but that's a nice one. That's a chunk. Oh my god. Yes, dude. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Are you joking me? Oh my gosh. Oh, well, guys, that's what musky fishing's all about, right there. That was crazy. Um, we just saw that fish like three like not even yeah. a minute ago like five minutes ago yeah Sorry, not even yeah yeah three, three minutes ago. that was nuts so i was gonna take another loop and let adam cast it because generally like if a fish turns your bait away it's not gonna eat your bait so i was gonna let him get some cast at it with the uh, with like a swimming bait and uh i had well that was my first cast on the spot wasn't it mm -hmm. i'm thinking that this fish is probably around 46 47 inches i don't know it's in the water i thought it was around 50 but we'll see um, one thing that you guys got to keep in mind, if you are musky fishing or you're musky fishing for the first time and you get a nice bump board like this, the fish's slime is super important to keep on the fish. Um, it helps them block out bacteria and any parasites that might be in the water. So when we're measuring them, you do not want to put them on carpet. You do not want to rub their slime off. And if you're using a bump board like this, you want to make sure you're going to get water on it. So you just saw me dunk it back there. That's me getting the board wet so the slime doesn't get rubbed off um, and we're not injuring the fish. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Go to the gym. <laughs> the board. Okay. Okay. No way. Forty-eight and a half. That's my PB. <laughs> That's my PB musky right there. Forty-eight and a half incher. I beat it every single year I'm up here on Lake of the Woods. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna get this girl back. Off the other side. Tamarack back at it again. And what a way to wrap up the first two days here on Lake of the Woods. Super crazy how I can beat my PB every single year I'm up here. Again, this is the third year in a row, and uh, I'm always impressed with what this fishery has to offer. If you guys are trying to do a trip exactly like this, the island slash lodge that we're staying at is called Tamarack Island Lodge. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But uh, yeah, if you guys are new to musky fishing or experienced musky fishermen and have never been to Lake of the Woods, go ahead and give it a shot. Um, this place is about eight miles offshore and uh, is in the most pristine musky waters that I believe that Lake of the Woods has to offer. So check it out in the description below. Um, I am going to be here for a total of a week, so I got many more days to come. And uh, I guess stay pinned for the next couple videos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. Again, if you'd be so kind to go down below and give this video a like and a comment, that'd be awesome. Um, until next time, my name is Maverick. You're gonna know the drill. Just keep on trucking.